My name is Anna Ovaska and I'm a legal specialist here at Protect Children. I'm also leading our online road safety project in which we aim to strengthen children's digital safety skills. Welcome, you're watching um, the Nice to Know video series in which I'm interviewing our partners and other specialists in the field of digital safety skills. In today's episode, I'll be interviewing Senior Advisor and Head of the Children at Risk Unit at the Council of Baltic Sea States, Olivia Lind Halderson. Welcome, Olivia. Hey, Olivia. It would be nice to know, why does the CBSS believe it's so important to strengthen children's digital safety skills? Hello. Well, you know, as the boundaries between children's on and offline lives become more blurred and connected, it's really important that they have accessible and attractive ways to be supported and empowered to make safe digital choices. And, you know, children explore uh, just as they have always done. But today they have access to this huge and exciting world that provides amazing opportunities to connect, to learn and to be entertained. But there are also risks that we as societies uh, may not be familiar with or which may not feel as real as in the offline world. And the key here is to teach children to become savvy, respectful and safe digital citizens in the same way that we would teach children to be savvy, respectful and safe offline citizens. And this really goes hand in hand with uh, other measures to prevent children from harm. And we also believe that it's really important to start early and not wait until children grow up to be teenagers. Uh, children begin their digital lives very early and without the right skills to make safe choices online, they may take up or even cement practice that could be harmful to them. Then it would be nice to know what kind of trends related to digital safety um, have you noticed in your member states since the COVID pandemic began? So um, while it's still too early to fully understand the impact of COVID-19, there is a growing body of observation that provide an image of digital safety during the COVID pandemic in our region. And these observations are not exclusive to our region. Uh, they are observations that we see across the globe. And just to begin with, we have seen that online access to information, education, friends and relatives has been overwhelmingly positive. And our members have invested in online campaigns and support for children and their families, including on online safety during the pandemic. However, there are a few concerning trends uh, that we have noted, for example, risks related to unhealthy online habits, and uh, increased stress as a result of digital schooling. And of course, as children spend more time online, they're also increasingly exposed to online abuse and exploitation. And globally, we of course see an emerging uh, evidence of increased child sexual abuse and exploitation online. You know, as children are more exposed to offenders through social media, online gaming, chat groups and other unsafe uh, channels. And we also see that children who are marginalized at risk of violence and with limited adult support or digital skills are particularly vulnerable. And at the same time, there has been a disruption uh, in access to education services and also in a few countries access to justice. So this as access has been sporadic or sometimes it had to move online, which has posed uh, its own challenges, of course. Then finally, Olivia, it would be nice to know how does the CBSS contribute into strengthening um, and developing children's digital safety skills? 
So the Council of the Baltic Sea States, the CBSS, is a platform for regional collaboration and trust, and it gathers 11 member states from our region and the European Union. And the Children at Risk is one of the CBSS flagship priorities. So representatives from our member states gather in an expert group on children at risk to engage in dialogue, exchange and practical projects to promote children's rights, build stronger national child protection system, promote child friendly justice and contribute to nonviolent childhoods uh, online, offline and at the intersections of the offline and online world, of course. And for example, the CBSS hosts the Promise Barnahus Network and Competence Center, which promotes multidisciplinary and interagency services for child victims and witnesses of violence. The Barnahus model, which first started and spread throughout our region, but now also across Europe and globally. And in that context, uh, we currently look at online violence against children and professional practice. Uh, for example, if online aspects are integrated into the forensic interview so that online violence always is uh, detected and investigated. But we also look at how services should be adapted, for example, in terms of crisis support and therapy to meet the very specific needs of children who are suspected to be exposed to online abuse. And this may include coming to terms with the fact that the images of the abuse continues to circulate on the internet, but it may also include promoting digital safety skills with children and their parents. And beyond the important work that our members do in their respective countries to support online awareness through campaigns and in schools. We're also really happy to have joined uh, this project, the Online Road Safety Project. And we support this project because we feel that it promotes a new perspective on how we teach children to stay safe online. And it kind of brings us closer to the reality of where children play, interact and learn today online, offline, and at the intersections between the two. Okay, Olivia, thank you so much for joining me on this nice to know video series. And again, thank you for CBSS for continuing to support us and continuing to collaborate on this project. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to contribute and uh, we're really proud to be part of this project and look forward to our continued collaboration and all the exciting results that we can reach together. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.